basically just going to show what manually adjustable valves are on this valve bank and what they do. Uh, we'll start off with the top one. It's, this is the Nodder flow control. So we'll just open that up. And basically, if you had to slow the Nodder down to diagnose a problem, this is how you would do it. Basically, I, I run it all the way closed and then I engage the Nodder. So we'll do this. Injector down. We'll engage the Nodder and then I slowly open the valve. I peer around the side of the twine box. I watch, okay, the needles are going. You can open it or slow it down depending on how fast you want the needles to travel. Um, the correct setting for this valve is wide open. You want the Nodder to tie as fast as this valve will allow it. Open it all the way, tighten down the jam nut, you know, snug it up, you're good. This is the load sense bypass adjustment. Um, if the uh, bail bearer is hooked up to a hydraulic uh, pump with load sensing, we'll have to adjust that and we'll make another video on that um, detailing how to set that. This is a plunger regen valve um, and the correct setting for this is open all the way. If you had a, an issue with a, a slow plunger or something, you might want to check to see if this, uh, this uh, regen valve is open all the way or not. Uh, you shouldn't have to ever set it. Uh, it comes open from factory and it, it's locked tight, so it's, it shouldn't be anything you have to worry about. Um, this is the uh, injector sequence valve and it, uh, it controls how fast the second stage cylinder extends as the stage one cylinder is extending. Um, we'll get into another video explaining how to set this valve. This is the table speed. Um, the table speed is correct at 12 rounds per minute. So if you had a table that was going too slow or too fast, uh, basically you're on the table, you time it. If it's going 15 rounds per minute, you have to close that valve a little bit. If it's going eight rounds per minute, you have to open it up. And it's just open it, time the table, lock it tight when it's at 12 rounds per minute. And that's this little guy down here. Um, this is the pressure gauge adapter port. And the pressure gauge is in the uh, spare parts kit on the opposite side of the machine. And it just threads on here. 